Hello and welcome to another video of Captain Bob, and please make sure to stay till the end, because today I will be making an Arduino card to a flight simulator controller. Just a little disclaimer here, this should work for you, and I think it will, but it didn't work for me because I have two FSXs on my computer, and so it kind of like just got all jumbled and there was an error. I think I know how to fix it, and I'm going to try to within the next few days, but I'll show you how you can do it yourself, and hopefully you don't get the same error I did. So you have your potentiometer right here with three prongs. The first one goes to pin num number one. It can be whatever. Then the middle one goes to ground. And then this one goes to pin two. You'll notice the little prongs on the side. Those are actually for structure, so don't care about those, basically. You can chop them off or whatever. And on rotary encoders, they have two prongs right here. Those are actually separate from the encoder itself. That is for the push button. So you could do three and four. You're going to want to start by opening Moby Flight. Yeah. For this video, I will show you how to make it from scratch. You can download MobiFlight in a app by just looking up MobiFlight, but I'll add a link in the description. So here I have my new window. I'm going to start. You're going to start by making an input and naming it something that makes sense to you. Then you're going to want to go to Extras, Settings, Moby Flight Modules, and click your Moby Flight Arduino. You're going to want to add a device, add an encoder, and this will be, and then give it a name because Every good encoder has a name. Then you can select your pins you want it to be in. So I'm going to do pin 25. Is that? Yes. 25 and pin 26. After that, you're going to want to upload it onto the Arduino itself by just clicking OK. Upload finished. So, the middle pin goes to the ground. So I'm just going to plug that in right here. The left pin is going to go to 25. No, no, there. The right pin's going to go to twenty six. Should look kind of like this. I know that's a mess. Sorry if it's hard to understand. Then click OK, and it brings you to the menu. Click Edit, click Input, you select your module, select your device, in this case it would be video example. Then, if you're using FSX, you go to FSU IPC Offset, and then use your preset. 
I'm going to use COM1 standby decrease and then press use. And I'll do the same on the right, except for this time I will do COM1 standby increase. You're going to want to click the active button and then open flight simulator. Okay. So, while that's loading, press run. And now this is running. And when you twist this, yeah, it should just basically increase and decrease that, but sorry about that, my computer is kind of broken, so pops up this. This should work for you, I think this has to do with something with Steam Edition, I think I know how to fix it, but yeah. So, sorry it didn't actually work. Hopefully this helped you in a, at least a little bit of a way. Let's see what's in the magical box. Oh, it's a momentary three position switch. Fancy, but I thought it'd be a lot bigger. And just a little update, I made, I got these three working. These two actually blew away while they were drying. Sorry about that. And then I'm going to try to redo all of these because these look so much uglier than these right now. They're all scuffed up. That's because they were with acrylic paint and those were with spray paint. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that little error didn't ruin the whole video. I'm trying to get it fixed and I will. And please comment below on if you have a way to fix it or if you need like more of a tutorial. I hope to get a how to install MobiFlight tutorial by next video, but anyway, life is a journey, so keep on flying.